Hey, Pisces, I just tilted. Okay, that's not too bad. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your bonus reading for the beginning of July, which is appropriate since it is July 1st, but you know, it's whatever. Anyway, this is going to be Thunderdome, so I'm going to be reading for you and another person you're dealing with, Cross Watchers, as well as the sign I'm reading for, which is Pisces. Switch where you need to switch. It's for Sun, Rune, Rune. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game. Do not go in on me. Do not drag me. For I shall do the same to you, but with a much more beautiful style. Okay. okay. Anyway, let's go on with the reading. Um, ooh. You guys. Oh. Just, what? Okay. Hmm. I feel like there's somebody who wants to reach out to you, but you're just not even looking in their direction because it's like you 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 don't want to notice that the tower is right here. If you notice the tower, it's gonna be like this. And it's just like this person wants to get to you and they can't. Group one, you're up first. Yes. So let's see what's going on with y'all. Group one and habu. We got five of cups reverse. Ace of swords and the wants and wishes. Four of cups and the fears and rejections. Ace of pentacles in the situation. We got two aces, so one of them was wrong. Wheel of fortune and the obstacle and challenge coming against you. And then here's a Gemini's card, the lovers and the catalyst as well as the final result. What will begin this shit and how it will end. You know. Someone definitely doesn't have any passion to communicate or do jack shit, honestly. Um, let's see. Beginning theme is... Yeah, they don't want to communicate because I just shuffled that and that popped right back out. Could be Aquarius right here, but someone does really does not want to reach out, feel a little bit arrogant, feeling like, oh, I don't need to talk to you. You know? Being very childish in a way. With the whole situation regardless. Hmm. I really feel like, like this person is dreaming of a different kind of ace. There are two different aces. One is to start something with a great foundation. The other one is to start something... For our, uh, some explosive actions. But the Wheel of Fortune is stopping this. So, it, well, it's not entirely stopping it. The Wheel of Fortune is moving, but I don't think it has anything to do with this ace. So, this Five of Cups reverse, right? Group one. Someone spilled their cup. And now they're sad about it. Like, something happens, and now they're all just like, you know, like, I can't believe I did that. You know? Something about what was offered with the page of pentacles. Capricorn towards Virgo, or someone just carrying that energy. It was a small piece. It was just a piece, sir. But, it was something to give. And I feel like somebody, like, just... Fucked up. Yeah, like, then now someone's, like, sitting there, like... Literally, like, sobbing and having a hard time getting over their cups being all in the sand. Just, like, getting sopped up with ants and sand and shit. It's just, like, it being washed by the ocean and rusting and oxidizing and all that nastiness. Got the Ace of Pentacles down here. One of these aces is wrong. One of them needs to be flipped because you can't have two new beginnings. Like, you, multiple timelines you don't have always the same things. Um, wow. <laughs> it's like, okay, someone is sad because there was a weak-ass offer, but it turned out that it had potential. And when they turned that, I don't know, it's like, what this offer is, it potentially became like the ending to something that, some marriage from a long time ago. 
something like that. Like, two people were married, and then in the end, it was just kind of like, you know, like, I really don't like you anymore. I don't like you either. Fuck off. You know, just get out of my house. <laughs> like, I got a divorce that I think really nasty, like, too. Very, very vicious. It was just like, that's, that was more, that's the big, like, that is the root of it. But it was a small piece. Like, it looked like so, such a huge thing. But in reality, you could hold it in the palm of your hand. It, it was that tiny of an issue. But it was the main issue. And why, like, I feel like somebody separated from another person. It could also be with a Gemini right here, since it's got, like, almost basically the twins, but it also deals with marriage. Like, the chick is in a wedding dress, and this dude is Pan, which could easily be Capricorn in this as well. Um, but yeah, like, whatever this little issue was, it was the main reason for why this, like, marriage fell apart, I feel like. Like, almost ending not on applicable terms. Or whatever that word I tried to say is. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, then the, the, I don't need to turn any of these aces over, because it really doesn't matter. Um, the Capricorn's card. The devil. So, definitely gonna be dealing with an earth sign in this group one, but it's like, these two people are so stuck in like, hating and fighting each other, that it's just like the devil just has his hand raised, interjecting just like, hey, you know what, you guys, like, maybe you should just communicate a little more, and they're just like, no, Satan, get out of our house, or let us argue with each other like married people are supposed to do, and the devil's like, you know what, you're right, I'm, I'm, I, I'll just mind my business, I, I'm sorry I was trying to point out to you your problems, <laughs> it's not like you all summon me here to sit here and listen to it, but you know. I feel like that's, like, the issue. It's like... Like, if someone wanted to start something... It would be bad because, like, their problem is rooted in something that's, like, really not even a big deal. Like, they probably, like, this is like somebody who, like, got a divorce because someone didn't squeeze the end of the toothpaste roll. You know? Like, it's just like, I, 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 I just can't do it. It's just like, how hard is it to actually squeeze it all to the very fucking end? I just couldn't do it anymore. I was sick of it. I was sick of it. Like, I don't know. Like, it, like probably, like, just went off on somebody. All right. Four of Cups over here in the Fears of Rejection. Someone's, like, really sad. Like, they have a fear of sorrow, of loss, of all that. Or they're trying to reject it. It's starting to feel like a burden for them now. Oh, I totally skipped the Wheel of Fortune, and I don't know how I did that, but we'll go to that. Obstacle and Challenge. Wheel of Fortune. Um, the wheel's turning, and someone is not wifey material. Someone is not that wifey material kind of chick. Someone does not feel successful in themselves. In some sort of way. Huh. Like, okay... Give me a second, because I just want to look at this, because I want to make sure. Are they? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this person wants something they believe will end terribly, only because their tiny problem was the root of why this separation happened. Like, their fucking issue is a very minuscule issue. But they totally believe that um, going back to this would be bad. But I feel like they won't, in, in, in somewhere in the future, this is going to make them feel very insecure with themselves and what they have accomplished. Where they feel like they're not hitting some goals. Like I like I haven't become like I haven't become someone's wife at the age of like thirty or some shit, like you know just having a midlife crisis before you're even like thirty. We got the lovers over here, Gemini once again, which is kind of crazy because it is these cards, but could both mean Gemini. It's just this one's up right now. There's a love situation here, of course. Um, that someone just turned her back on. 
just was just like, you know, I'm going to let this box burn, and if everything catches on fire, you know, that's just what's going to happen. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's what, that's pretty much it. Like, someone was just very, very arrogant and stuck in their own my way or the highway. Yeah. Ah. It's tossing everything. King of Cups Reverse. Someone selfish in their emotions, and they aren't even going to talk to this person. It could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So it could be you, Pisces, like this. You're just all pissed off at this person. You're like, I'm never speaking to this person again. Fuck them. Like, they told me mean things. <laughs> like, they were very, very mean to me. Like, they weren't fair. They didn't go along with what is cool and what, like, my perspective is. Or they made me feel like I was crazy or some shit. I don't know. Um, I just feel like they really, like, it jumped you up. Yeah. And it made you feel like you couldn't be happy. Group one. Or you feel like this person feels like they felt trapped and there was no way to actually access happiness. Like, you want to go and start something new. You just didn't feel like you need to recover a little bit first. That's all. That's all. You just want a little bit of recovery time. Sorry, just had to go grab a pen really quick because I wanted to write this down. I always write the titles down because I have the memory of a goldfish. But yeah, it's like, you know, you're not happy. You want to get away from this shit where you're not happy. You just need a little bit of time. That's all. This shit makes you feel old, group one. So, that's yours. Let's move on to... I wish this wouldn't look so crooked on the camera. It drives me nuts. Group two, it's your turn. Let's see what your side of this perspective is supposed to be. Yes, yes. Okay. All right, group two, let's see what your perspective is on all this. Ah, my God. Everything is just very, very jumpy with you, group two. They want to say something to you. I don't know what they want to say. I don't think it's anything bad, but it's definitely something important because they're just jumping out. Group two, you go, ah, whoa. What you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, back in the day, there might have been someone you really hurt group to, right? Um, but now you're at a crossroads with that. Either surrender some shit or, you know, until you, like, have all the blood pumped into your head and, you know, pass out and... I mean, well, you'd enjoy it. Like, not too big of a deal, right? Oh! Fear injection, strength reverse. Um, situation is the Ten of Pentacles. The obstacle and challenge coming against you, the chariot reverse cancer card, and the emperor. Maybe Leo could be Aries. Beginning theme. Capricorn's card, the devil. You got the Capricorn all up in yours. Pisces on your reading. That's surprising. I think it showed up in Gemini's too, surprisingly too. You guys, like, I don't know. Maybe somebody's getting canceled, canceled by Capricorn. We are the most steady rock right now during all these retrogrades. God bless Saturn and Pluto both being in retrograde right now. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Group two. Let us see. This Five of Swords reverse is kind of bothering me, Group 2. It's just kind of like, what'd you do? Because now you're at a crossroads of shit. Like, you could be dealing with a Cancer in here as well. Or Leo. This Cancer right here is just kind of like... I don't know, it feels weird. Like... I, like, it's kind of familiar. It's kind of like half. Like, it's half of something. Like, half... 
half. I don't want to say half crazy because that doesn't make sense. There's like, it's something here that's like something split, and I and I don't know what it is. But they're very much out of um. There, there's a perspective of this particular cancer. I don't know what it is, but like a lot of shit isn't known about them, or something's hidden about them. I don't know, but it's like I don't know. I, I like this seems so familiar, but I don't know why. But it's like you know, it, like if you get a cancer piss, they'll do anything to get back at you because they don't know how to let go of grudges. Like, this is a cancer thing, like, they'll tell you that you aren't holding the grudge, that you're the one holding the grudge, and then they'll hold a grudge for, like, three or four years without even realizing it, and then, like, they get mad when you point it out, which I always thought was funny. Hmm. But I feel like with this one, it's, like, almost a half attempt to, like, get somewhere and a half attempt to just fight everybody. And that's what the crossroads is, I think? Yeah, like, someone's facing the devil in an order to escape from this, like, kind of scenario where they feel stuck. Like, it is time in the Mufasa voice. Wait, or was that Rafiki? That was Rafiki, but still, same difference, right? Someone's facing their devil, but they're going to get somewhere with it because, like, they're getting away from this negative devil energy. Someone might actually be listening to the devil when he points shit out to him. Right? Let's see. So there was betrayal with this five of swords. Someone might be reliving it. Someone might be thinking it. It could have been with somebody they had a family with, with the ten of pentacles. I'm not reading all those. That's way too many. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you're getting counseling for that or getting guidance on what to do. Someone in a chair unknown to them. Somebody who, um, maybe they, they have great value in, they trust their judgment. Could be an earth sign in this somewhere. Doesn't have to be, but it's definitely somebody who is, um, I don't know, kind of like a mystery because you don't really see them. Um, yeah, Ten of Pentacles, the situation, everything's on fire. And someone's trying to recover from it. I'm sorry for laughing, but it's like, oh, yes. It's like, this card always cracks me up, because it's just like, how do you how do you sleep while everything is burning? Like, how do you not smell it? How does it not smell like hot dogs or whatever? Like, and that shit spreads quick, too. You know, I, I don't know why that card always cracks me up, because, because it's almost obvious. Like, it's like somebody left everything in this household... The Ten of Pentacles on fire while they went to just take a nap and try to recover something, but I don't know if they did or not. Now we got the Hanged Man right here. With the Hanged Man! You are at a... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. I guess I called that one out right. This person's at a Crossroads group, too. Um, they have a, a, a choice in this. They're tired of being held captive in whatever these people have them in. There's a snake coming in whispering to them. That's actually kind of cute. Because it's like my got one of my guides is actually a snake. A little garden snake too. But this one's like not a garden snake. It's actually super long and kind of creepy but the snake's coming up and I think whispering things on how to get out. There's a sickle right there. There's a mask too that they can put on their face if need be. They're trying to think of ways of how to get away from their two captors right. Like, how do I get away from these negative people and negative influences before they do something to me? I don't think the time is ticking, but, the, but you know, waste not, want not, and time is one of those things you can't get back, you know? Ah, the chariot. Cancer's card once again. I, I don't know why. Hmm. Yeah, someone might be um, trying to create a version of reality out of their own impatience, I think. Yeah. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be based on them being selfish about how our relationship ended. 
I think they want to go through the light, but it feels like they can't get there. I think I, this is like a warning to someone not to let their own um. Gemini kind of had this too. Gemini kind of had this kind of thing too, where it was like somebody was um in the Thunderdome. Somebody was like having a really hard time forgiving themselves about some shit. And I feel like this is almost the same thing. It's just kind of like, dude, like you gotta chill. Um, but in this case, it's like this person is like getting overwhelmed by their um stuff right so it's just kind of like dude chill out you know things take time and you have plenty of time you're not in any rush these people aren't getting ready to kill you sure the blood's rushing to your head all violently and stuff and probably making you pass out and it doesn't feel comfortable but you know this is a crossroads don't try to go don't go chasing waterfalls Stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Whatever the rest of that song by TLC is. I can never remember the rest of the t those lyrics. But it's basically the same thing right here. Like, Sure, everything is on fire, but it hasn't reached your house. Okay? Get the proper equipment to put out the fire. Don't just think you can blow on it, because sometimes air makes fires worse. I will say that. Yeah. This person might have felt best to buy like a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or just like a, a motherly figure. Um, they might have just been like, well, fuck it, I don't want that love anyway. Buffalo, you are now my lover. Your name's Pete. Pete the Buffalo, right? And this is something that somebody could have easily gotten out of, but instead they just kind of dilly dallied, chilly shallied, and then the eagle came down and killed me. <clears throat> Took him away to somewhere in Dark Souls. Hmm? Okay, it could be Leo involved with this fear and rejection. The strength card reverse, a lot of restriction right here. Um, off of oh, the Emperor. But he's got his back turned. He's just like, you know what? I'm gonna hold myself back from causing any more fires to set things on fire. Like this is almost like okay, this is almost like what started the fire, and this is what happened like 20 years later. It's now coming back. To burn everything down. Because you it's almost like, okay, I'm going to turn my back to this. It's going to go out on its own. And then, like, 40 years later, like, the whole entire world's on fire. And it's finally coming to your backyard. You know, it's almost like that. This is what started it. And that's how, like, it came about to be like it is now. That's the fear and rejection. It's like someone's afraid that, um... It was their own, like, arrogant hesitation to actually do something that caused this to become so overwhelming and terrible and terrifying. Then we got the Emperor down here once again his, with his face turned. What's going to start this and how will it end? Um, feeling like, you know, there's a, the lights right there, but he can't get to it. Not aware that since he's the emperor, he's the one who can control it. You know, like, yes, you see the light, but don't sit there and give up on shit. You're trying to come out of bad shit, right? That's what you want to do. Group two. You know, don't let your passion for what it is you can and cannot manifest be stifled. Don't let somebody knock the kneecaps out your horse. You know, and don't do it to yourself, especially. Like, don't ruin your own chances. Take your time. You have the rest of your life. And if you don't accomplish it, you'll most likely get put back here. Because apparently we're all at war or something in the spiritual realm. At least that's what I keep hearing. But, you know, the only way you make war is if you go into it, you know? People could drag, try to drag you into it all day. That does not mean you have to cooperate. They might kill you on that plane, too. And then finally, maybe you'll be able to do If not, oh well. But take your time. Be slow and gentle and caring for yourself. Uh, okay, like, here he is, talking to fucking Pete the Buffalo <laughs> about getting out of this situation. I think, yeah, yeah, you know, like, this person, I think they want to be a provider. They're just really not good at it. Group two, I hate to say it. I'm not trying to be mean, but it does just sound calling it. It's like, you want to do good? It just doesn't work out that way. But you're trying to 
get yourself out of that insanity and you know learn how to actually function in a more proper way and you're starting off by talking to Pete the Buffalo now that's not much of a start but at least you're learning how to communicate to something with more care like you're not where you need to be as a king of pentacles right now you may not feel like you're providing very much. You may not feel like you're even supporting yourself very much. You might feel like you're going backwards in whatever it is you're doing, but that's okay because that's the beginning of how you fix yourself and get yourself out of this toxic kind of thing of yours, right? Or whatever it is situation that you're dealing with. And that's the most important thing. You have to start out in steps, you know? Just take your time. No one's rushing you but you, and there's no reason to be rushing. Don't go into that chariot shit, because I feel like that's going to backfire on you. Like, timid offer back in the day. You're looking it over. Seeing and evaluating a lot. You can be Capricorn Taurus and Virgo right there. You know, um, may not feel like your wifey material after looking at that because he's got the tenth pentacle. This is the t nine of pentacles. Um, might not have been wifey material at that, point. but that's okay because you know we're all still learning and growing. Yeah, you know, we're not always our best. I feel like you need to hear that. Like not like just because you're a monster in someone's eyes does not mean that you're still not a human being. There's Gemini's card. Um, the Levas. So you might be dealing with a Gemini. There is a relationship here between two people, I'll have to say. Two people are definitely connected on a love aspect. It's not a bad thing at all. Hmm. I feel like looking at that 10th pentacle and realizing why you weren't wifey material will really help you figure a lot of shit out. And I don't think just with a relationship, but coming to terms with your light side and your dark side, because you can't be one without another. Right? So, that's the reading for you. Group 2, and thank you everybody for watching my video. I'm not doing personal readings until like maybe the 10th. I still got a few I got to catch up with, but after the 10th, I should be able to do some more. Um, my email is in the description below if you are interested in one. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you want to, because I won't make you. Um, I'm not good at begging, so. But I will make you laugh until your jigglies jiggle, because I'm good at that. Y'all have a good day. Love you. Bye-bye.